Uh, Mark, in today's Arts and Views, I want to talk about the small progress Rishi Sunak made with his recent visit to the USA. Because British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's first visit to the United States on June 7th and 8th yielded remarkable results when both sides signed the Atlantic Declaration. The statement not only orients itself towards economic cooperation between the two countries in the coming period, but also shows that relations between the UK and the US are warming up. And these relations have long been influenced by US President Donald Trump's foreign policy and Britain's exit from the European Union. And of course, they're selling it as a big success. But let's talk about details today. The US is currently Britain's largest trading partner as a country. In contrast, the UK is the US's seventh largest trading partner. In 22, the trade volume between the two countries was almost 350 billion US dollars. And with the Atlantic Declaration, the UK and the US agreed to increase trade ties in key areas like artificial intelligence, 5G and 6G telecommunications and quantum computing and semiconductors and biotechnology. So very specialized stuff. And they also pledged to ease protectionist barriers, strengthen ties on defense and cooperate on data protection. And the declaration also mentioned mitigating the effects of the Inflation Reduction Act of the USA. And President Joe Biden signed the bill into law last August. And through key mineral deals, the US is allowing UK electric car makers using UK-made batteries or batteries from countries with which the UK, no, the US has key mineral agreements to receive a tax credit. And this is beneficial for the UK electric vehicle supply chain. And Biden has pledged to ask US Congress to authorize Britain as a domestic source under US def defense procurement laws to encourage faster and more effective cooperation between the two countries on military technology. So still very specialist stuff. According to analysts, the Atlantic Declaration is nothing more than a series of small economic agreements. But the symbolism of this declaration is still important. Prime Minister Sunak spoke of an economic partnership with the USA for a new era like there has never been before. That's the normal exaggeration. He also reiterated that this agreement will bring interest to British companies and will address concrete opportunities and challenges that Britain is currently and will face in the future. The Atlantic Declaration is seen on their side as a landmark agreement that marks the revival of bilateral relations after many ups and downs. And the statement was made after Britain gave up hope of a comprehensive free trade deal with the USA, which is still not coming. In general, British ob observers view the Atlantic Declaration positively, seeing it as a foreign policy victory for the British government. Of course, there's also sharp criticism from the British opposition that the Atlantic Declaration is economically and politically unworthy of the special traditional alliance between the two countries. But the fact that Britain is granted certain privileges in economic relations with the US can be viewed as something not easy to obtain, so a small victory, because all policies of the current US administration are based on putting US interest first. And this shows that the US still attaches great importance to the relations with Britain. The results of the US visit also confirmed British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's announcement that Britain-US relations are an indispensable alliance. US President Joe Biden, meanwhile, reiterated that there is no country today closer to the US than Great Britain. The London-Washington alliance experienced quite a turbulence under US President Donald Trump and Britain's exit from the EU. However, with Rishi Sunak's visit, both sides have shown that US-UK relations are still strong and will continue to evolve in a changing world. But it still shows something else. It shows that the US government was very serious about one thing. They are deeply concerned about Ireland and Northern Ireland. And there has progress been made by the Sunak government, and I think the stance of the US, gov US government was one point why Sunak did it and came to the conclusion of the Windsor Framework Agreement with the EU. But despite all these small and very symbolic um, achievements Sunak achieved in the US, there is still no trade deal in sight, and there's 
still a lot the British would want, but the US won't give. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.